this video, I'm going to show you how to use the blur tool in Canva to blur whole pictures, partial pictures, and even elements on Canva. So let's get started with a design. This is a thumbnail that I would create on my other channel. So let's just select a picture of myself. Hello. And then once you select a picture, no matter what it is, you will go up to edit image. Then you will scroll down and look for blur. If you haven't used it before, it will be down here and you may also like. And then of course you can always search for it by typing blur. Then you will select it. And if you haven't used it before, you'll have to click use and then get it into your Canva tools. But if you have used it, you would, it'll pop up like this. And then you can either do auto and it will automatically blur the whole image. If you don't want to do that, you can do blur and click this blur that does it in a small range. So this is how you can blur elements. You can blur a whole face. If you're using a picture where you don't want to show someone's face, I'll show you what it looks like. So basically, let's say I don't want this picture to be shown at all in my background. So I would just click on the picture. I can increase or lower the brush size. So if I want to lower the brush size, I can do that. And then I would just select what I want blurred. And when you click your mouse, it will show you this kind of pinkish red. That is the area that is going to be blurred. So when you let go of your mouse, it will then blur that area. So you can also increase the intensity right here. So you can slide it up and see what that looks like. You can slide it down and see what that looks like. You can increase the spread. So how far it spreads or decrease it as well. Then if you want to do it again to make it even more blurred, you can just repeat the same process and see what that looks like. It does blur it more. You can apply it multiple times to the same area to really increase the amount that is blurred as well. That's an option too. So you can do this on different areas of a photo and have different effects and kind of see what it looks like if you want certain areas blurred where you can't see it. And then if you don't want the blur, you can always restore the areas as well. So you would just click on restore and then you can click on the areas that you previously made blurry and just color them in and they will be restored. It's really easy to use this tool. Let's look at another way that you can use blur in Canva. So one way that I would do this is when you have an image selected, you can click edit image and then get off of blur. Then you can do adjusting. So you can adjust and you can blur the whole image. So right here has blur and you can slide the scale to blur it. This is really useful for when you're doing a blurred background, but you want something in the foreground to show up. Let me show you how you would do that with this picture. So basically you would need two copies of this picture. One copy, you're going to have the foreground sharp and in frame, and then the background will be blurred in the other. So I'll need two copies of this picture. So to do that, I'm going to do a right click and then copy or command C. And then I'm going to do a right click and then paste or command V. So I have two options. I'm going to move this one out of the way for a moment, and then I'm going to blur this image. So here I'm going to go back to adjust and I'm going to blur it that way. I could also go to blur and do the whole image. So I'll show you what that looks like. So if we go down to the tools and do blur, we can do an automatic where it does the whole image and we can change the intensity like that and then apply. My image did blur and it attached to the background. So I had to detach the image from the background. So let's pull up this other image. And so this is the one I want in the foreground. So it's the same size and I am going to do the background remover on this. And then that will give me a foreground that is sharp and then a background that is blurred. I will do another one after this to show you the opposite effect where you want something in the foreground blurred and then the background of the image not. So here we go. We're going to apply that. So now we have my face very sharp in a blurred background. That is how you use this for this effect. Let's find a car with a license plate. Here is a good example of the opposite effect that you would want for this. So here we have a license plate on a car. Let's just get it a little bit bigger to expand. So let's say this is a car that has your license plate and you don't want the internet to see this. So there's a couple ways we could do this using the ones I showed you before. Basically you can click on edit image and then go to the blur tool and then select just the license plate. So you would just 
kind of blur out your license plate number right here and kind of do that until you're happy with how it looks and do the intensity up. And so you could just make sure that no one is going to be able to tell. I would definitely increase the intensity if it's numbers and you don't want anyone to see it. But if you don't like how that looks, you can also do the other version where you have a copy of the picture. So we'll have this in the background and because it's the background, we'll leave it alone. Then we'll copy and paste the image. So we have the second image here. And then basically all I'm going to do is make it a lot closer to the license plate so that we can only blur that part of the photo. And because it's going on top and going to be the blurred part, we'll leave it on top. Then we'll click edit image. We'll go down to blur. And then we will do the whole image. So we will auto blur it and we'll increase the intensity to where you can't really tell and then kind of play around with how we like it and make sure it covers everything. So you can just bring it in until it looks right. It looks like it fits. So you want to see the edges of everything, but you want the numbers kind of blurred so you can't tell. So you can do something like that. It might not look perfect. The edges of course on this are a little funky looking, but if you're working on just making sure that it blurs, that could be the best option. Another great use of the blur tool is to use it on text. So it would work the same way. You select the image of the text that you're going to want to blur, click on the blur tool, and then go to blur. For this, you're going to want to use a lower intensity. So you would go to like four or five and then remove the spread so it doesn't look really that bad then because text is so small, you're gonna want a smaller brush. So if you just do it with a big brush, it kind of takes over everything. So you don't want that. So let's get rid of that. You would bring the brush size down to kind of fit the size of the text. Then you would run it over the words that you want blurred. You could do it maybe a time or two. It depends on how blurred you need it, but the intensity and the spread are going to be a lot smaller when you're doing text. So that way it doesn't take over the whole document, but it does blur everything that you need blurred. And of course, if you want it even more, you can go over it more than once and just make sure it's blurred so that it can't be read as well. So that is how you blur text. Those are a few different ways that you can blur in Canva using the blur tool. The blur tool is really useful to use on images. It can really help you if you need to either blur a specific area or blur the whole background of an image. I hope this was helpful. If you like Canva tutorials, definitely subscribe or check out this next one.